Hi, and welcome. My name is Jim DeRentis, I'm the Providence Real Estate Guy, and this is the third week that we've been bringing you some of the spectacular real estate here in the city. We started in the Jewelry District and looked at a, at a loft. Uh, last week we were in the both Wayland Square and Blackstone neighborhoods, and today we're on the edges of College Hill. Here we're at the Knight Dexter House, which is an 1800s federal style colonial, part of the Stimson Avenue Historic District. Uh, this beautiful home you'll see as we go through is rich with architectural details and it also has a legal apartment. Let's take a step inside. So here we are in the main entry hall. You see we have ceiling height around 9.6 and if we sort of turn and face the door you can see a beautiful fan light with side lights on the front entry. Gorgeous honeycomb pine floors. So I'll take you through the property today. First we're going to start in one of the front parlors, which this family uses as a home office. So back in the theme of telecommuting today, this is a beautiful space for someone to work and enjoy the streetscape, the sunlight. This house faces south. You should see the beautiful windows, built-in shutters, stunning dental work, recessed lighting, custom built-in bookcases, Beautiful marble fireplace. Another nice feature of this home is, while it was originally built in 1800, it does have all of the modern amenities. So you'll find central air conditioning, you'll find a garage here, and we'll look at the grounds in just a few minutes. And this home also has a legal apartment. So we'll step back across the hall Second front parlor, again, beautiful crown moldings, plaster medallion on the ceiling. And lovely original tile, accents on the fireplace. And remember the beauty of doing these virtual live open houses on Facebook Live is that you can ask questions at any point during the, uh, the uh, presentation. And we'll be at this house for uh, a half hour today, so we're from 12 to 12.30. And then we're gonna head over to 59 Manning Street, which is on the other side of the College Hill area in the uh, Cook Street area. This room, you can see it's used as a family room. And again, we have beautiful ceilings, recessed lighting. Terrific dental work on the crown molding. Built-in bookcases. And what was a pantry is now used as a bar. Great space for family entertaining, movie night, game day. We have a nice powder room, which is off a little hallway between the office and the formal dining room. All original fixtures, yet they all work very well, keeping with the charming character of the 1800 federal period. Now we'll step into the kitchen, which 
just been completely renovated. We have nice wood cabinetry, glass front cabinets, subway tile backsplash, top of the line appliances, nice home granite stone countertops, stainless steel farmer's sink. We have a nice little eating area here. So you can do your casual dining here in the nice sunny bright kitchen. Now we're gonna step out into the garden, which is a, a lovely piece of this particular house. And this is at the back of the house. The beautiful brick terrace. A nice big oversized two car garage. Amenity we don't get very often here on College Hill. You see this home is in very nice condition. Freshly painted. Storm windows. So back inside. We have this beautiful staircase, and no way to get to the landing, you'll see a terrific Palladian window at the top of the stairs. Note the beautifully restored railings. This home is really in pristine condition. If you're looking for that balance between restored American architecture and all the modern amenities, this home has it. On this floor, we have four, bath four bedrooms and two bathrooms. And you'll see they serve as sort of a Jack and Jill. So we'll step into this bedroom. This is the first of three guest rooms. Plenty of closet space amply proportioned rooms, same beautiful pine floors, beautiful original shutters, first guest bathroom. Again, Jack and Jill style. Step into the front bedroom, another guest room. Note the beautiful ceiling height. Here we're pretty close to nine feet ceiling, nine foot ceilings on the second floor, which is terrific. Beautiful fireplace. See. Nice original windows, but all in really nice condition. Modern storms, triple tracks, storm windows. Same beautiful honey toned wood floors. And here in the second level landing, we have a small sort of office space. This room, this family uses as the master bedroom. Again, south facing, beautiful light, beautiful ceiling height. Lovely crown molding. And here we have another Jack and Jill bath and you'll notice this one has been modernized.
space. Steps into the back bedroom. Again, nice size. Beautiful crown molding, pretty fireplace. guest bedrooms and a, and a bathroom. a double porch you're in the video <laughs> the tenant who lives in the apartment next door and you can see we've got a beautiful front porch and a second story porch on this uh, unit as well that apartment has two bedrooms and two bathrooms again look at the beautiful historic details beautifully ma maintained sense of the size of the house and just how beautifully maintained it is. Note the detail in the trim work. So again, we're able to show homes uh, for a uh, personal visit, and we're happy to do so. And this is 300-302 Angel Street here on the east side of Providence. And we are in the Stimson Avenue Historic District, which is right on the edge of College Hill. The Knight Dexter House, 1800 federal style colonial beautiful example of why we love historic Providence so much. <laughs> 